We have some massive, and I mean massive, breaking news here on Dolphins today. I am Will Scott. It appears that Dolphins cornerback Byron Jones is retiring. He tweeted this out moments ago. So he responded, he quote tweeted an NFL tweet from the Combine eight years ago saying that just call UConn's Byron Jones Mr. Broad Jumps. It was a highlight of Byron Jones from the Combine. Byron then quote tweeted that and said, much has changed in eight years. Today, I can't run or jump because of my injury sustained playing this game. Do not take the pills they give you. Do not, all caps, take the injections they give you. If you absolutely must, consult an outside doctor to learn the long-term implications. Then he responded to that first tweet saying this, it was an honor and privilege to play in the NFL, but it came at a regrettable cost I did not foresee. In my opinion, no amount of professional success or financial gain is worth avoidable chronic pain and disabilities. Godspeed to the draft class of 2023. I'll repeat that first sentence of the second tweet. It was an honor and privilege to play in the NFL. Uh, it appears that Byron Jones just retired. Absolutely shocking. And this is why you subscribe to the channel. It's my off day. It's a Saturday. I'm at home. It does not matter whenever, whenever Dolphins news breaks, I get you guys a video. Go down, subscribe to the channel. And we're getting into this time of the year where there is going to be breaking news a lot. So you do not want to miss anything. Turn on your notifications. Hit the noti bell below when you subscribe so you stay in the loop with all Dolphins news and rumors. I'm shocked. I've had multiple people text me about this. Like, yo, Willie Finns, does this mean that he's retiring? Yeah. This is not a Byron Jones retiring question mark. This is a Byron Jones retiring exclamation point. You do not tweet out something like this if you're going to play in the NFL or plan to play. In the NFL, again, it appears that Byron Jones is done. And, of course, Byron Jones missed the entire 2022 season, which was not expected. So let's rewind to last offseason when Byron Jones had offseason uh, ankle surgery, kind of a cleanup surgery. It was a, apparently a pretty minor surgery. It was not supposed to set him back, really. He was supposed to be back by training camp. And then I remember a couple days before training camp, they put him on the pup list, and we were like, okay, not that big of a deal. It just clears up a roster spot, an extra roster spot for training camp, and he'll probably be back middle of training camp. He wasn't, wasn't back by the first preseason game, wasn't back by the first regular season game. Then we're kind of thinking, okay, maybe after week four, he wasn't back then. Then we're thinking, okay, maybe after the bye week, he wasn't back then. We're thinking, does a miracle happen and he, and he plays in the playoffs? That didn't happen either. So uh, Byron Jones surprisingly missed the entire 2022 season. Uh, we've heard from Dolphins coaches that um, they didn't really say that he suffered necessarily a setback, but just that the uh, recovery was taking a lot longer uh, than expected. And I think Dolphins coaches were caught off guard, and we heard a lot about you know, is Byron Jones even in the building? Is he in team meetings? Uh, there was a lot of confusion there. Some coaches saying, uh, some coaches implicating no, some coaches implicating yes. Um, but Byron Jones was dealing with that throughout the entire season, trying to work his way back after ankle surgery. And this was a guy that was pretty durable uh, throughout his NFL career, really did not miss any time. Um, I mean, he just missed three total games. In two seasons with the Dolphins. That was it. Uh, it. Before this season, of course, played in 14 games, started all 14 games, or started 14 games in 2020 uh, after he signed that big contract that at the time made him the highest paid corner in the league. And then uh, in 2021, played in 16 games, uh, 10 passes defended, uh, no interceptions that year, had two interceptions in 2020, was pretty durable in Dallas, played every single game but one in his five seasons in Dallas. Uh, so he was durable until, you know, we just didn't see him this past year. Obviously, um, we knew he was not going to be back in Miami. You know, that was the thought that he was going to be a cut candidate and the Dolphins would save about $14 million uh, as a post-June 1 cut. Um, but it appears that, uh, that his playing career is done. 
uh, his Wikipedia page already saying uh, retired. Uh, so this is happening pretty quickly here. Dolphins Twitter reacting to this. As I mentioned, spent the first five years of his career uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. Then signed on March 21st, 2020, a five-year, $82 million contract with the Dolphins. Again, making him at the time the highest paid corner in the National Football League. And I think we were all really excited when that when that went down. Because like, you know, X and Byron paired together. That was going to be the best uh, corner duo in the league. And unfortunately, it has just uh, not worked out like that. So, look, you know, I know a lot of us were a little bit frustrated with Byron this past year. Um, just with the lack of communication. There was uh, not a whole lot of transparency that was going on. But at the end of the day, we certainly wish him the best. And, and hope that, um, you know, that he gets healthy. Um, you know, that tweet, you know, kind of made it sound like that he's still, you know, kind of struggling. You know, he said, um, you know, something about chronic pain, disability. So we, we hope Byron gets back healthy. Uh, you know, certainly thank him uh, for his three years of service to the Dolphins. And we just want him to get healthy. And, uh, you know, there's life after football for these guys, man. That's something that I think we forget about. And uh, that he'll just be able to have success in whatever the next step uh, of life is for him. Uh, but go down in the comment section. Tell me your one-word reaction to this. What is your one-word reaction to Byron Jones retiring? I don't think it's a question. I think it's a fact uh, that Byron Jones just retired from the National Football League. And again, subscribe because we're going to have you covered when Dolphins news breaks. Uh, this was not news that I was expecting to happen. I thought, okay, if breaking news happens this weekend. Maybe it's a Jalen Ramsey trade or something. Uh, Byron Jones uh, has just retired from the National Football League. Uh, so the Dolphins um, do not have to worry about cutting him at this point. Um, they will still save, you know, all of that money, I believe, against the cap. I'll have more information on that when I'm back in the office uh, tomorrow. I'm going to be back in the office uh, tomorrow. Uh, maybe getting you guys a vid, perhaps uh, pushing the mailbag. It's supposed to go out this afternoon to then. Um, but this is this is wild. This is absolutely wild stuff. Byron Jones um, appears to have just retired. So when you're looking at the Dolphins cornerback room right now, after this news, you're going to have X, B, C, B, 1. I'm excited to see what Xavier Howard can do with Vic Fangio. And we're going to be auctioning off uh, his jersey here when we hit 40,000 subscribers. So thanks to Travis and Mint uh, for that. The University of uh, North Dakota women's golf coach sending us that jersey. We're going to auction that off. Once we hit 40,000 subscribers, so you have him, you have Cater Kohu, Nick Needham is a free agent. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see what this cornerback room looks like next year. I think Cater will probably be the starting nickel back. And then you'll probably go out and sign a corner like John Jones. And then Jalen Ramsey has been strongly linked to the Dolphins. Jalen Ramsey came out yesterday a report that the Rams are going to be actively shopping him in the next couple weeks. So I know that we knew Byron Jones wasn't going to be back anyway, but maybe after this news, um, the fact that you don't have to, you know, cut him with a post-June 1 designation. Maybe the Dolphins will move fairly quickly and try to get a Jalen Ramsey deal done, pair him with Xavier Howard. So it'll be certainly interesting to follow here in the coming weeks what the Dolphins are going to do, but they need a CB too. I think Cater Crow is more than capable of being that guy. Um, but you have Nick Needham as a free agent. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what the Dolphins do. I do believe that they are going to trade or sign a corner, uh, trade for or sign a corner here in the coming weeks. Again, go down and subscribe. Um, and certainly, you know, we wish Byron Jones the best again. Um, Joe Shad just tweeted us up. Uh, you know, Byron Jones opens up last year. It was really frustrating for Byron medically. And uh, Joe Shad is saying that maybe it's not a retirement. I, I disagree with Joe Shad. I think this is a, uh, I think this is very much uh, him retiring. Um, Byron said, I can't run or jump because of injuries sustained playing this game. And then he said it was an honor and privilege playing the NFL. So it'll maybe the Dolphins just learned this from Byron. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Byron called the Dolphins and uh, Byron's the one that broke the news. So uh, again, we'll have more information on this in the coming days, but go down and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all of you watching. This has been Willie Finns. We're a couple weeks from free agency, you know, about two months from the draft at this point. You're going to want to turn on your notifications so you uh, do not miss anything. Also, go down in the comments section. Uh, let me know who do you want to replace Byron Jones. Could be Cater Kohu, 
uh, could be John Jones, could be uh, Jalen Ramsey. Go down in the comments section. Let me know uh, which corner do you want to bring in to replace Byron Jones at CB2.